In this lesson, you will learn about probability. Probability is a measure of how likely or unlikely it is that a given event will occur. So when you're thinking and talking about probability of an outcome or an event, there are three descriptions that you'll be using. You have likely, unlikely, or impossible. If an event is likely, it could occur and the odds are actually in favor of it occurring. The probability of a likely event is a value that is greater than one half. Okay, so let's just say x is the probability would be greater than one half for the event to be likely. If the event is unlikely, it can occur, but the odds are really not in favor of this event occurring. So this would have a probability that is less than one half. And again, x is standing for probability here, it'd be less than one half. Now, if you would call an event impossible. It means that there's absolutely no chance that that event will occur and the probability of an impossible event is zero. So now let's practice by solving a problem together. Lee has a box filled with 11 pieces of fruit. There are six apples, two bananas, two oranges, and one peach. Lee is making lunch and chooses one piece of fruit at random without looking. Now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the different probabilities that she'll pick one type of fruit over another. So we want to know how likely, unlikely, or impossible certain fruit choices would be. And to do this, you need to know the formula for finding probability. The probability of an event is equal to the number of times that the event can occur divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Okay, so now let's try and find a probability. What is the likelihood that she will pick a peach at random? So there are 11 pieces of fruit in all, so we know that. That's the total number of outcomes. When she reaches in, she has a total number of outcomes of 11. Now we want to know how many times is it that the event of peach occurs. Well, there's one peach, so that means that the event can only occur one time. To take the probability, so I'm just going to write um, P of peach, which means probability of peach, equals number of times that can occur, which is 1, divided by the total number of outcomes, which is 11. So this means the probability of getting a peach is 1 over 11, which is less than 1 half. So this is an unlikely event. Now let's find another one. Let's say now, what's the probability that she picks a banana? There are two bananas. So the probability for this, p of banana, would be the number of times that you could choose a banana, which is 2, divided by the total number of outcomes, which is 11. 2 elevenths is less than 1 half, so this event is still pretty unlikely. What about, what about the probability of getting a tangerine? So p of tangerine, and I'm going to just abbreviate that. Let me see, there's apples, bananas, oranges, and peaches. There's no tangerines. So that outcome can happen zero times, and the total is 11. This simplifies to zero, which means this event is impossible. And it's impossible because there are no tangerines. And lastly, what's the probability of an apple? So P of apple. There are six apples, and the total number of outcomes is still 11. 6 elevenths is greater than 1 half, so this is actually a likely outcome. When she reaches in, she's probably going to get an apple. Now let's try another problem together. Debbie's pencil case is filled with pens, pencils, and highlighters. If Debbie randomly chooses a writing tool, the probability is 7 fifteenths that she chooses a pencil and 3 fifteenths that she chooses a highlighter. If there are 15 writing tools in her pencil case in all, what is the probability that Debbie selects a pen? So what we're trying to find is the probability, or P, of selecting a pen. Now we also were told that there are 15 writing tools in all. The other thing you need to remember is that probability of an event is calculated by dividing the number of times the event can occur by the total number of outcomes. So what we need to know is how many pens are there first? 
because we can't calculate the probability without knowing the number of times that that event can occur. So how many pens are there? We need to use the probabilities of the other two events. So the probability that she chooses a pencil is 7 fifteenths. Now we know the total number of outcomes is 15, so that's what the number in the denominator represents, the total number of outcomes, which means 7 is the number of pencils. So we have 7 pencils. Now we would apply the same logic to uh, finding the number of highlighters. The probability of choosing a highlighter is 3 fifteenths. Remember that 15 represents the total number of writing tools, and 3 represents the number of times this event can occur, or the number of highlighters that are actually in here. So we've got 3 highlighters. Now we can find the number of pens, because we have 7 plus 3, right? That's pencils plus highlighters equals 10. And there are 15 in all, 15 in all, minus the 10 we've already accounted for, leaves us with 5 writing tools in the pencil case. So that means there must be 5 pens in there. So now let's just continue on up here. We're going to find the probability of getting a pen. The number of times that it can occur is 5, because there are 5 pens. And the total number of writing tools, or outcomes, is 15, which means the probability of choosing a pen at random would be 5 fifteenths. In this lesson, you've learned about probabilities of different events. I hope this makes solving some problems a little easier for you. Thanks for watching.